What's up gang? Today we're showcasing some mods slash kind of an alternate build or rebuild that I did of Spider-Man at the Sanctum Sanctorum workshop. So I originally wasn't going to buy this set, but my girlfriend surprised me with a copy for me and her and we went ahead and built them together. The first thing we'll go over is actually this large spider slash scorpion claw figure. I'll get this game controller out of his hands. He was playing some video games with Wong. And I'm going over this first because I don't actually think I've made any changes to this figure at all. I really loved it. I've been playing with it for a while. And as I play with it more, it actually kind of turns into a good guy and more of a friend that hangs out in the workshop area. But it was a fantastic build. It has fantastic posability on the arms up here. And I just love the claws and all the tendrils down here. So it remains unchanged. Now we can go over the Sanctum Sanctorum. And one difference you guys probably noticed immediately from the thumbnail is that this little couch section is detached. And that's actually on purpose. I went ahead and did that so you could place it wherever you want on the model. But in the end, it really only fits and looks proper sitting in the middle there. But I did make it so the couch is just hanging off by one stud so you can attach it to any portion that you want. And if you modify it yourself, maybe you'll have more spots for it. But on the couch, you have enough space for one minifigure and other snacks to go with. Right now, I have Wong sitting here with the game controller. And I would have liked if it came with a second one so I could put it in the spider's hands. But for now, they'll just have to make do taking turns. But past the couch, we can now go ahead and go over the workshop. And you'll notice I'm just carrying this as one assembly with hands only on the two sides. This set was absolutely amazing out of the box, but my main gripe with it was that it was very fragile. When I tried to pick it up, I had to pick it up from the bottom and had to be very careful with the different assemblies, especially with the couch one. That one fell off all the time. So that was one of the main things I wanted to change. I wanted to make it more structurally sound so I could really pick it up from anywhere. I can pick it up by this middle overhang and nothing's falling off, not even that back section. So that was one of the main things I wanted to accomplish and I'm glad I did while not taking away from any look of the workshop. Moving on from that though, we'll go ahead and start going over the workshop from left to right. And like I said in the beginning, this is primarily just a rebuild. So a lot of the assemblies and builds stayed pretty much the same. I just moved them around. On this left side here, we have that shelf full of knickknacks, the toolbox and the collagen on the bottom along with the crystal on the middle shelf. I really love this shelf build and all the little knickknacks and sorcerer items that they built onto it. So I knew I didn't want to take that apart. And just next to it, a few more knickknacks sitting on the shelves and a few chalices and empty canisters. I really wanted this left side to look like the storage area, so I went ahead and tried to toss as many knickknacks on this side as I could. And just in front of that, we have a computer screen with the news of Spider-Man's identity being revealed, as well as a cookie and enough space for a mug on there. And then on the other side of this computer, we just have a boombox in there. Now we're onto this main center area, and you guys can see that this is pretty much unchanged. Overall, this entire wall design hasn't changed. I absolutely loved it, and I knew I didn't want to change it, so I didn't touch a single piece there. I have just moved around some bricks to make a little bit of a different design, and then added some on this corner right here to make it structurally sound. But we'll go ahead and get the figures out of there so you can get a better look. So as you can see, that wall design remained the same. We have that candlestick sitting on that right side there, and then through this wall, or this hole in the wall rather, I like to think of it as some sort of vault for Doctor Strange and this is where he keeps extra valuable things and potentially dangerous things. I've went ahead and taken off some pieces so it's a little easier for you guys to see in there. On this left side, we just have an empty pot with a scorpion lurking behind it. In the middle there, we have that same build with the statue and then the gem sitting up top with a spider all the way at the top. I really liked the stone rocky build for that, so I went ahead and kept it together. And then to the right of that rocky statue build, we have that chest with the tentacles and teeth coming out. I loved the idea of this chest with tentacles that burst out of it or something that's similar to kind of like a mimic. But I thought it was a little dangerous on the original set to just set that by the computer. So I went ahead and put it through the wall in what I'm now calling the vault. But then other than that, through the wall, there's not much other detail. I really like the builds that already came with this set. Like I said in the beginning, it's pretty much just a rebuild of all the features that I already liked. Now we move further into the corner, closer to the workshop area. So now we're getting into the corner with all the extra little bits of knickknacks that I couldn't fit on the shelf on the left side. And then just hanging above it, we have that bicycle that came with the set. But in those knickknacks, we have an hourglass, an empty bottle, some kind of creature's tooth, and then a fancy looking lamp. I'm not really sure what all these things are called, so I'm not too sure what to call them, so I'm just trying my best. I went ahead and took off the workshop so we can get a better look at it, and I'd just like to say the set is not designed to do this. I'm doing this and detaching these portions for review purposes. And next to all the knickknacks, I have all the tools that came with the original set, and this is actually the exact same workshop bench that came with the set. I just tossed one extra piece on there and added a candle light for Peter to have some extra lighting while he's working. In the drawers, of course, we're storing tools and syringes for some reason. And then as well, this barrel that doubles as a seat, you can go ahead and store some crystals in there. And these pieces bring me back to the old Indiana Jones sets, and I can't wait for more of those to come out. I'm going to go ahead and get those back in there. But after that, we've pretty much gone over the entire workshop. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I really loved building it, and I'm even happier that my girlfriend surprised me with it. But after getting it home, within a few hours, this bad boy was modified, and here we have it before you. But I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless, and let me know if you want to see more Marvel videos on this channel. Marvel is pumping out a lot of great sets right now, so I'd love to make videos on that if you guys want to see that. 
Other than that, just make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date on any alternate build or mod videos that I post in the future, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace, fellas.